Add different padding to each side of an element. Sometimes you will want to customize an element so that it has different amounts of padding in each of its sides. CSS allows you to control padding of all four individual sides of an element. Padding top, padding right, padding bottom and padding left. Give the box blue box a padding of 40, 40 pixels on, on its top and left side but 20 pixels on the bottom and right side. Okay so Padding top 40 pixels, padding right 20 pixels. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Hi, padding top 40 pixels, padding left 40 pixels, and 20 pixels each for the other two. Mm. The blue box class should be given top element 40 pixels. Of padding, the blue box class should give the right element 20, pix 20 pixels of padding, and the blue box give the bottom of the element 20 pixels of padding, and the blue box 40 pixels. Of Aye, that's what I've done. What the? Oh, wait a minute. Ah, sorry. I see what I've done there. Uh, silly me. Mm. Take that out. It's the blue box. This may be in. That should be in there. Yabba dabba do. <laughs> Moving the fuck on. Excuse the French. <laughs> Add different margins to each side of an element. Sometimes you want to customize an element so, so that it has different margins on each of its sides. CSS allows you to control the margin of all four individual side of an element with the margin top, margin right, margin bottom, margin left. Given, give the blue box a margin of 40 pixels on top, left side and left side, but only 20 pixels on its bottom and right side. So this is the blue box again. So this is a class dot blue box. So we need to give margin, oh, margin top colon, semicolon, I'll fix that in a minute, margin, margin top, margin right, margin, oh, can I spell margin now, margin bottom, colon, semicolon, and margin left, margin, left colon semicolon now if we want to do that it's margin top is 40 pixels so 40 p x for pixel 40 pixels for the bottom the, the left the right sorry and the bottom will be 20 pixels and the left will be 20 pixels Uh, wait a minute. Uh, your blue box class should give the right elements of the margin 20 pixels. Ah, uh, it's 20 pixels for the right. And the left's 40 pixels. Oh, that's a daisy. Oh. Ah, that's it now. Yabba dabba do. Use clockwise notation to specify the pattern of the element. Instead of specifying an element's pattern top, pattern right, pattern bottom, pattern left properties individually, you can specify them all in one like this. So pattern and the pattern would be 10 pixels for the top, 20 pixels for the right, 10 pixels for the left, they the bottom, and 20 pixels for the left. These four values will work like a clock, right, bottom, left, top, right, left, bottom, left, and will produce the exact same result as using the side specific pattern instructions. Use clockwise.